So when I said large scale disturbance, the first thing I thought of was gonna be, you know, some type of crowd. But it appears that we got an active shooter right now. CPDFR single player patrol. We're gonna be changing the vehicle on this one. Um, the one he told me, hey, get rid of them, them ugly, ugly ass white rims. So now we got some black ones. We're gonna be rolling a little bit of a different vehicle. The lights, um, they look good, but the, um, I'd have to work on the actual reflection off the wall. You can see it's still there, but it's very dim. But all in all, this is a, a great looking, um, you know, Ford Explorer from a uh, Black Jesus Sheriff pack. He really did good on this pack. I really like it. We're also gonna be running um we'll be running policing script tonight and you know just to mix up the call outs a little bit we might do some LCPDFR as well. And we'll kinda just go from there in terms of seeing what we get involved with. We'll work ourselves out of the rural area and you know towards towards like the outskirts of the the certain like city areas and stuff and we'll see what we can get into. You know, we're running Brave Hearts Police and Script, so that's going to kind of give us access to a breathalyzer. I mean, I know we also have one with Call Out Plus, but that's, um, from what I understand, in UK readouts. So we'll go ahead. We got reports of a fight. We're going to go ahead and take the details on that. And once we get details on that, we'll look it up on our computer, kind of get a rough location. Bruner Street, no idea where that is, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so that's in the downtown kind of area. We'll get on the main drag and make that left. I'm not sure if it's going to be up top or if it's going to be down below, so that's going to take us a little bit longer to actually get on scene for that one. We'll probably take Mohawk and see. And it is a fight, so we're going to respond code. We don't want anybody killing each other before we get there. I'm gonna tell LCPDFR that we're busy so we're not getting cross threaded in these call outs. And we'll try to get there in a timely manner, but like I said, we don't we don't know if it's up top or down below. Now we're just gonna get into the area and try to find. Anybody that's scrapping, okay, I do believe it's down below at this point, so we'll loop back around. Gotta get used to the handle on this thing. And we'll check down this way now, see if we can find anything over this. There we go, we got it right here in the center of the street, we'll hit him with the spotlight. And, you know, we're definitely gonna have... We're gonna have Jerry step out. I'm gonna try to get compliance from these guys. This guy's trying to comply with me. Oh, all right. You you keep trying to hit me. Jerry's actually gonna. I'm gonna sick Jerry on this guy. All right. We're gonna move to a taser. This guy was trying to be combative towards us at first, so we're just gonna hit them both. Alright, this guy's actually staying put over there, so he's not the aggressor anymore at this point. And we're gonna go ahead and investigate this individual. We're gonna take a frisk on him. And, uh, you know, Jerry's got our back, so I feel comfortable not calling for backup at this point. Guy over there, um, not saying he's a high class citizen, but he doesn't look like this guy, if you guys catch my drift. So we're gonna investigate this person first. And I might actually have to turn, I didn't realize that I forgot to turn off the uh, resisting arrest for uh, brave hearts. That can kind of do a lot of confliction. Alright, so we're going to ask him for his ID. We're just going to go ahead and get some more information about the whole situation. Let's see if this damn truck slams in ours. And, you know, once we get this information, we're going to run a check on this individual. And what I'm probably going to do is reposition my vehicle. We'll see how fast we can kind of get through this. But, you know, this guy's definitely going to be going in for uh, 
the fight. This guy's going to be going in because he actually turned towards us as well. Okay, so this guy's got two active warrants, so that even makes it like more justifiable. Alright, so I thought we were going to have a little fisticuffs with this individual, but it seems like we're, we're going to be getting an arrest on him. And we're going to call for a transport unit for this guy. And we are going to be arresting the other individual for actually trying to get ready to take a swing on us as well. We're going to go ahead and move our vehicle. Um, this guy's complying, so I'm still heightened in terms of watching him. But we're just going to get our vehicle out of the street at this point. And we'll leave the light on that guy. And we'll probably bump down our lights just as some traffic warning at this point. Situation's kind of... Contain. I'm going to keep Jerry out of the car with me, though, in case this guy decides he wants to kind of get froggy on us. And while we talk to this individual and get his information, we're going to... Yeah, see. We hit him. <laughs> we have to hit him with a taser right quick. Let's we'll see if we can get compliance. Okay, so we got a little bit of compliance. That other unit showed up to handle that guy. And same thing, we're going to frisk and investigate this dude now. We have the suspect in custody. see how well the cop does it leaving. I think he's going to be stuck on that wall. But yeah, you can see from here how dim the lights are on that vehicle. And that's what I try to tell a lot of you guys is um, you know, some of the ELS vehicles lights will look great and some of them they won't. And it really depends how they're made by the creator. Like this vehicle probably looks stellar during the day because it's dim at night if that makes sense. All right, so we frisked this guy. I'm not even worried about his information. We're actually just going to go for the arrest and uh go take this guy in. And, you know, same thing, because we're a canine unit, we're just going to call for, you know, a transport of this guy. We're not going to try to hinder ourselves with any downtime. You know what I am going to do, though? Before the sun pops up, I'm going to go ahead and freeze that time, because I forgot to do that. So here we go. We'll freeze that. And we got another transport in route for this guy. We'll run him up to our vehicle. You know, he did try to flee on us, did try to fight us. I'm not concerned if he has any warrants at this point. We got a, kind of enough to substantiate a pretty good arrest for, you know, when we go to court with that guy. Of course, they, they spawn down there. We're going to go ahead and kill our uh, traffic lights at this point. We're going to wait till they take this guy in. We'll kill the spotlight. Still got our headlights on. And you see the lights on that, that Crown Vic are doing so much better in terms of the distance and reflection off the wall. So I'll probably use that next time without Jerry. Give Jerry a little bit of a vacation or a break. And we'll just watch these guys fight over the seats and fail to close their doors and all that nonsense. You know what I'm actually going to I'm gonna try to hook him up. There you go, buddy. Okay. Oh. All right, so we just cleared that scene up, and uh, you actually heard my canine bark in the background. I don't know, there's some people outside. It can always be an issue. If it's not the kids, it's the dog. So we'll go ahead and tell police and that we're back in service, we're in the area, and we'll kind of investigate down here in this area. This is kind of on the outskirts. It's not really um, too much into the city, so we'll kind of see if we can find anything to get into down here, and we'll just start creeping through the local area. Uh, we're not going to respond to the intoxicated person. We'll let another unit handle that. But we will be looking for suspicious activity out here now. Large scale disturbance. You know what? We'll, we'll take it and we'll see what's going to happen here because, you know, we'll subject ourselves to what, you know, dare I say, Baltimore has been subjected to lately. And it's sad what, what's going on, you know. I, I, I've i lived a little bit northwest of Baltimore, like 30, 40 minutes northwest of Baltimore. So to see that happening, it's kind of kind of sucks. All right, so I definitely know where to go. we got a large-scale disturbance. Uh, we're going to be going there. Once we get on scene, we're definitely going to be calling for assistance if they're not already in route there. So we're not going to be able to handle a large-scale disturbance as ourselves. We'll try to clear out the area. We're not really going to try to make any arrests. We'll go ahead and enforce that curfew, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it might have been down there. It might 
actually circling around up here. Might have to actually check our map again. Nobody's wanting to yield, though. Okay, so let's let's do another quick map check. So I can take this next right off of uh, Hooper, and it's going to come up on the right-hand side. We already got people fleeing, so it tells me that something big is going on in the area. Let's see if we can get people to yield at this intersection. And, you know, hopefully this is a non-violent situation. And we're going to park up outside of the area. Jerry's definitely coming with us on this one. And we're not going to approach with our weapon. That that just kind of kind of would be bad. We'll see what we got going on. We'll investigate the area. All right, so we do have we got shots fired at this point. Yeah, we're going to be calling for new spank up and another patrol unit. So when I said large scale disturbance, the first thing I thought of was going to be, you know, some type of crowd. It appears that we got an active shooter right around. Right around the corner here. Okay, so we got her down. I don't know if there's going to be anybody else. We're going to collect the evidence right away. She was ready for it. Okay, so we're done with the collection evidence. We'll call for an ambulance, which I believe she took several shots, so she's probably going to be down. And we'll see if EMS can make it over here without killing everything in the level. Jerry, we stand a good chance to die today, bro. And we'll let the other officers kind of investigate the area for any additional um, perpetrators at this point. Uh, mainly because we're, we're going to be dealing with this. This is now our primary thing. Alright, so Noose is actually coming the area as well. And she's, she's completely gone. So we're going to get a corner. Here comes the corner. And it might have only been one active shooter. Um, maybe it was just titled wrong. It's not, you know, it happens. Dispatch gets handed wrong information from people all the time. But I am hearing these guys say, cover me. So it makes me think that they got something going on. Okay, so we just had the corner go ahead and pick up the, uh, the person on that one. We're gonna go back down here. You can see we got units on the scene. And they're probably just coming there, so from there we're just going to kind of assist, see if we can get into the area. They probably already got it cleared out. Yeah, it's looking like we're good. Looked like it was one active shooter. Probably just misinformation. You know, it happens. We'll go ahead and load back up into our vehicle at this point. Where you at, Jerry? I lose Jerry. He's a dog. How can I run faster than a dog? Alright, so, you know, we pretty much got that handled. Uh, it wasn't a large-scale disturbance. Actually, we still got people running, so you know what? We're going to investigate the block a little bit. And uh, just listen to see if we got anything else going on. Because maybe it was more than one shooter. They might have started clearing out of the area before we even got there. So, she looks like she was... Are you serious? We're getting carjacked. We're gonna get Jerry to hit her. All right, good thing we got Jerry here. We're gonna see if we can get compliance from her. She might have been one of the uh, one of the people, you know, perpetrating the whole thing. And we're actually gonna do a frisk on her. Good thing we had Jerry. Jerry kind of like she caught me off guard, like pretty much ambushed me. As we still got gentlemen. Like this guy's still running from over there from the north, so. It's, uh, wow, did I say something? <laughs> I hope you guys don't agree with what she just said. Alright, so we're actually going to move for a uh, detained suspect. And we're going to place her in the vehicle. Just because right now we got a lot going on. We'll see if Jerry throws her out. I'm kind of curious to see what Jerry does. Yeah, Jerry don't give a shit. Alright, so we're going to call for a transport of her. We're gonna actually put cuffs on her. Jerry doesn't like his seat being taken. And, you know, we're, we're gonna look. If we see any more people fleeing, we're gonna 
go up the block and check it out. Uh, we're going to call for a transport for her, likewise. I'm going to move her out of the street. We'll hop back in. And, you know, hopefully this episode continues to go rather smooth. Let's say a bunch of weird stuff is happening so far. But, you know, that could be doing part to using the policing script. So we're going to wait till the other unit kind of shows up. We'll move our vehicle out of the way. And, you know, we'll probably get this vehicle towed real quick while we're waiting. So here comes the other unit. I'm going to be taking her. She actually, you know, pulled us out of our vehicle and started to get fisticuffs with us. Had a weapon on herself. I'm not even worried about checking her at that point. And we'll see. We'll ignore horrible AI logic at this point, guys. Oh, my. <laughs> that, that big cop's getting, like, straight up pushed. You better run. He's going to have a backswing. Okay, so they're clearing that out. Um, he's coming for this vehicle. He's probably going to try to hit us, so we're going to start moving. And he got the vehicle, so we're going to pull off of here. And we're just going to do one last little sweep through the area. And this guy came running from this direction, so we are going to go up the curb and work our way through here. She's running as well. Just kind of bump through here without destroying our vehicle. Alright, so I'm not seeing any more shots. I'm not hearing anything else. We're going to go ahead and clear out of the area. Those units are still down there checking out the spot. I mean, we all know, we know that they despawn, but where are you running from? What's going on with you? We're going to clear out of the area. We'll come back if we get another call. But as it stands right now, we'll consider that one good. So we'll tell. This both control, that were good. Required for a drug deal <coughs> in oh, excuse me. All right, so we're gonna take a LCPDFR call out. Um, it's definitely related to a canine unit. We got a possible drug deal, so the dog's really gonna help us out from that. God, we can't get away from this area, can we? So it's gonna be down in the park, and you know we're gonna. It's a drug deal, so we're not gonna be running code there. We'll probably light through a couple of traffic lights going code uh, two if we have to. But we want to get the drop on these individuals, so we're going to remain silent running. And see what we can do from there. Now, I feel like they're down here in the park, just from what I was looking at. And we'll kind of go check out the area. We'll park a little bit better, so we don't impede traffic or anything. We still got people running. You see that guy running over there to my uh, 11 o'clock? Alright, so we're just going to jolt down here. Uh, Alright, so it looks like we're going to have a, we're gonna have a shootout on our hands. I'm going to try to get this guy to peacefully stop. Nope. I'm not going to send Jerry in on him. we got two running. we got to pick up these guns before we do anything else. And I want to check out those other guys, so we're going to get a helicopter on scene if we can. These two guys are walking away, but I got my hands full with these guys. So we're actually going to call for an ambulance. And, you know, possibly even a corner. I'm trying to keep eyes on these guys, and I'm going to keep updating. we got the helicopter on them now. But we need to wait. Jerry, come on, Jerry, get out of there. This is dangerous, Jerry. Oh, man, we need to get, we need to hide. Damn. <laughs> he must have not seen that tree. Dang, they are drifting in here. So we're going to try to get this scene handled as quick as we can. We got the helicopter on those individuals. Um, <laughs> We got a, a drunk cop showing up to assist. All right, so we got these guys on the scene. Uh, we got a couple of cops actually in pursuit of those individuals. We're gonna load back into our vehicle. We're not gonna flip hoof it all the way over there. And I think we're gonna swing back up there in parallel to see if we can get on top of these two guys that are running. Come on, Jerry. Come on, Jerry, we ain't got no time. All right, 
Alright, so we're gonna go back down the block here. We're gonna be, gonna be paying attention to the uh, lights from the helicopter. He's gonna be walking us in on it. Okay, I got eyes on him from over there. We're gonna push those out of the way again. He's got one in custody, or one surrendering in the park over there. We're gonna try to find a suitable area for us to drop down there. You know, we do got the off road capabilities of this vehicle. Okay, so I thought this guy was giving up. He's actually running on us. He's got a gun. This He's got a gun. Like I'm so surprised that officer survived that. Yeah, we're going to be calling for... We're going to let this officer stay here and handle this. This guy's definitely getting a corner team. And me and Jerry are going to go back in to investigate the last suspect. We're going to get all these guys. Ain't nobody getting away tonight. Alright, so we're definitely going to be a little bit more precautious on that one. This guy looked like he was giving up till we got here. Watch out, lady. Aw, oh, that guy shot my car. This guy's coming at us pretty aggressive as well. Alright, I don't want to tell Jerry to get on him, but we're going to need Jerry to do his job here. It's going to be dangerous for Jerry. Don't aim at us. He already shot at us once, but I'll still give him the chance to give up. Hit him, Jerry. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to take the evidence from this guy. This has been a pretty pretty chaotic episode, I must say. All right, Jerry, we're good, brother. I, I, oh, man. We're going to see what's going on with this guy. We're going to get him EMS as fast as we can. You better stop. Man, Jerry, hit him. Hit him, Jerry. Yeah. You need to stay down. Stay down or <laughs> I'm going to put the dog on you again. Alright, so the ambulance is back from here. I think the corner team ran all the way down there. They got their hands full, so does EMS. Okay, so we're going to call Jerry. We're going to call Jerry off at this point. I've had Jerry just kind of covering down on him since we got EMS. Like, you guys might understand, but the dogs don't always necessarily know who to hit. Like, sometimes they'll hit the wrong people, and sometimes they just won't listen. They'll get confused on who's on whose team. And, you know, there's cases where they bite officers and things like that. So we're going to try for the corner again. We're really pushing the helper mod um, tonight. All units unavailable. Please request later. Yeah, I believe it. Jerry, we need to be careful. That medic's going to be crazy. We'll try one more time. Uh, okay. Are you going to come back and help this guy? Why'd you jump out of there? All right, so we got that individual down. And, um... I think we got those guys over there good to go. I'm so surprised that the game has not just shut down yet because of the amount of bog. And we're going to try to get a mechanic to look at our vehicle. Um, and we'll see what he, th he thinks of the situation. He doesn't like our trunk. So we'll see if we can get some new tires on this thing. Get him to hook us up with a new rim. There we go. And we're good to go. We lost the rim. We got shot a couple of times. It's too bad he didn't come out and wash the vehicle as well. And uh, we'll tell dispatch that we're we're good to go off of that Move one. Along, I'm not gonna um, force you guys to sit around and wait for the corner to kind of clear out and do its job. And maybe we'll try to get a traffic going on. We haven't had a whole lot of time to do any type of traffic just because this area over here has been completely lively tonight. Okay, so this vehicle is going really, really slow, and that can actually create a dangerous condition at night. And if I can get a grab on them, we'll go ahead and this play is control. it. control. Attention all units. We have a report of a uh, stolen vehicle. Okay, so we're going to be going for the stolen vehicle. Um, we definitely didn't have any flags on that one. It's actually down on the bridge where we just were. Looks like he's heading north in a uh, oh, white in, away from us. in Little Bay. We're going to call for a helicopter. He's stolen a police car, so we're going to take this one a little bit more seriously. This is control back air unit from Lower Eastern. 
Busy, busy night. So we got to mix it up with a little bit of policing script and stuff. We're going to struggle to actually catch up to this pursuit. Hopefully this individual doesn't get away. Yeah, trying to get people to yield to us. That can be a task in its own. Looks like he's southbound on Nobody's here to open it. So we'll give it a little nudge. Let's see if we can get into the area uh, kind of safely. I know we went to the north up here. Once we get up to the north, we'll try to see if we can find the other units to catch on to them. But, okay, so air just lit them up. It's going to be up here to our west. I'm going to slow it down now since we're kind of entering the city. It's going to be a police car, so let's we'll see what we got in terms of that. Okay, so we're, we're still trying to catch up. This guy's actually moving along pretty quick. we got to be careful of all these lights and intersections. And it looks like we're just spotting them over here. We're going to try to get over there without damaging our vehicle from this rough terrain. We're going to get people to yield to us. And we're actually going to roll back up for this one. It's still a police car. You know, same deal I told you guys in one of the prior episodes that, you know, it being a police vehicle, chances are he's got a firearm on that vehicle. And we're trying to, we're trying to catch up to him safely. Oh my. There you go. Alright, so he's going full tilt away from us again. This guy's just broken it. He's all over the road. Nudge there. I didn't mean to, but like now we're getting down into the city and a little bit leery. We're gonna make sure Jerry's uh, doesn't stay in the vehicle if this pops off. Uh, Looks Jerry like going west me. on Jackhammer Street in a uh, We're gonna try white for uh, a noose as well. And this guy's just totally flowing. I mean, he's not driving horrible, but he's definitely just careless. He doesn't, he's pushing through all these red lights. And we're trying to get people to yield so he doesn't cause any accident or anything. And we got a unit back there. We're going to call for one more backup. And if he slows down enough for this turn, which he's pulling away on us, he's a little bit faster than this uh, explorer. We'll try to take him. A criminal resisting arrest in industrial. All right, so we got a good hit right here. It's going to be occupied two times. We're actually going to be going for the front. Passenger's going to be getting out. He's got a weapon. I want to make sure they got him. As you guys seen from the previous episodes how this is went. Okay, these guys should be all over. Right. Hey, all right, Jerry, come on. Come on, Jerry, we got to go get the vehicle. Uh, Jerry, get in, the, get in the damn car, Jerry. Oh my god, I don't want to leave Jerry, but he's killing me at this point. Come on, Jerry. You old dog. You just opened that door for no reason, Jerry. Alright, so let's see if we can get to where... I know he took a right down here. We got the helicopter on him again. Suspect headed east. On, uh, okay, so it's heading east, Avenue. which means it's going to be heading from our right to left currently. There we go, right here. So we got the one guy in custody. Pull over now, or I will be forced we'll be taking to take secondary. Action. Oof, if we can get in in time. Alright, looks like it's going to be stopping like right going here. West on Leavenworth Avenue in a uh, white police car. We're gonna try to yank him out. Nope, nope. Getting a little risky. We don't want to get hit by this guy, so we're trying to pick the we're trying to pick the best time. He's gonna be backing up. Looks like he's really wedged right now. Suspect has fled vehicle and is continuing on foot. All right, so we got the vehicle recovered. Um, we got, you know, a bunch of assisting units here. They're actually making the arrest now. Noose was actually kind of on point in this one. 
They were using that uh, white unmarked over there. <laughs> Are they putting them in the car? Yeah. Well, that's a little weird. <laughs> we'll see if a unit takes them. I know these guys are actually going to try to clear out. I don't know where Jerry got to. I think he's going over to actually drive that vehicle now. So we're going to try to keep eyes on him. And I'm not sure where Jerry got to. Okay, God, Moose is so impatient. Oh, Jerry was in the back. We're gonna move this vehicle right up here. A little beat up. I don't know if this guy's actually gonna be trying to take this individual in. We'll see if we can clean this up the best that we can. No, it looks like he's like, I can't get in that vehicle. I'm just gonna... No, oh, here he comes. What a creeper status. Alright, good luck getting out of there, bro. I don't believe you have the ability as AI to do that. Alright, so we're gonna hop back in our vehicle. And, you know, we got minor damage, but completely dirty. Because we've done a lot of off-roading, a lot of weird calls today. And, you know... What are you... What are you guys doing? Are you serious right now? Okay. So, yeah, we're gonna... Do you, are you serious? Okay, so we're going to end this one right here. Um, That was actually a pretty action-packed patrol. You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. And, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, Definitely changed it up a little bit in terms of vehicles. Changed it up a little bit, too, in terms of, uh, you know, call-outs that I accept. We had uh, Jerry with us, like always. He was actually a pretty good asset tonight. And I really hope you guys enjoyed that one. You know, if you did, leave that like. And, uh... I appreciate every single one of you subscribers. It really makes me want to keep doing this and growing. And, you know, as always, I'll see you at the next one. Thanks, guys.